debate. Yeah, seriously. Very she much did so. debate. This are one. This one. This one. You. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Thank you. That was very ethical of you. Thank you, my dear. Now let me just flounder over here. No. Are you an ethical person? Or do you just think you are? Or do you just say you are? This is Rick Jordan, the author of Situational Ethics. But I will say this. We've been putting you through the ringer, my yeah. friend, to find out the meaning of this yeah. work well, that you've done. Before you give us a test, tell me a little bit about your background. Tell me who you are and why you wrote this book about situational ethics. I wrote this book because I've had 25 years of experience in security and technology. I'm also an ordained pastor. I've seen my share of ethical challenges. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the stories in the book are about my life. They're all true stories. About it's you? It's about, about, no, not about me. I've been involved in some of them. Okay. You've seen a lot. Yes. I have seen so much that it just kind of blows my mind in so many situations that yeah. you would think people are amazingly good people right. and then they flip on a dime because they have stresses and forces coming in from the outside. And little can small I, things. Like can I ask you, what is the benefit of knowing you're not an ethical person, right? What if you take this test and you're like, oh, it turns out I have no ethics at all. Then hopefully you can shift your life a bit and spin things around so that you have a positive influence on people rather okay. than taking advantage of them. Right. right. But okay. I ask you this too, like if you're unscrupulous, do you really care? That you're unethical. Well, they're, they're probably not reading a book. They're planning well, the next bank robbery. Absolutely. Yes. So this, is the, this book is not for them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pass it by. Self help okay. section, not interested. Okay, we're going to give it to you, Rick. It's called Situational Ethics. It, is. it comes out when? It comes out in July. Yes, July 14th when I'm speaking at Harvard. Oh. I know, I know. Okay, give us the test. The test, you got it. Question number one. Yes. yes. We were asking about this. How much money would it take to get you to strip off your clothes in a room full of people? Now, I'm asking you, why is that unethical? I mean, because you're exposing people to your nakedness, or what, why, what's unethical about it? I think that, it? yeah, it depends about... Some people are married, and they might think that's crossing the line, mm -hmm. if okay. that's the case. So the point is, is that you said it earlier, everyone has a price. Right, yeah. And that doesn't, doesn't apply to just this situation, but if somebody pulled out $1,000 and said, hey, take off all your clothes here, room full of strangers, do you want this? But then if they flashed up $2,500 in See, cash. You have my attention. Exactly. Uh, yeah. She's con we're considering things. <laughs> so we're going to get that back I in a minute. Yes. Oh, are we? Uh, are we? Hey, are you getting this back? Lisa said we have to strip. I'm just counting the cash. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying it might Making be. Making sure it's all there? It's I all there. I feel like this is your ill-begotten gains, and it's unethical for me to give it back to you. <laughs> okay. Great point. That yeah. is a fantastic See? point. So it's a good thing that Money, I Money. Okay. can influence ethics in a very bad way, but money can be used for good things, too. Well, can you, though, do you, would you say that people have different ethical meters? Like, maybe this is not unethical to someone, but to someone it's very unethical? Right. There's a difference. I talk about this in my book between morality and ethics. Right. Okay. Morality is what's imposed upon us from government, from society, or a religious group that okay. we belong to, yeah. whereas ethics is one's own sense of right and wrong. Okay. Yeah. And because you think of, like, Europeans, they're very more clear and open with their bodies, you know, it might not be so shocking. Let's talk about this bill tab that you brought us. What this is this? This one, everyone has seen this. Waiter delivers a yeah. check to your table. They mm -hmm. forgot to charge you for the 16-ounce porterhouse. Right. What do you do? Do you give it back? Or do you tell them that it's not on there? Pay for it? Right. Yeah. That's what, what I do. What do you do? That's what I do. Well, I tell them I think I got the porterhouse. Yeah. And for sure. But here. here's the situational part. Say it was bad service. Yeah. And he I just can't find he was slamming glasses down, you know, right. delivered it. I had a sticky glass for my scotch last night. Oh, no. They dumped it out, poured me a new glass. That was great. But some people will start to rationalize back and forth uh, okay. if they deserve that or not. Okay. Well, you ate it. You should pay for it. Right. So in your book, do you give us what we should do? There are reflective questions yeah. at the end of every single story. And that's the point. That is the exact point. And there's one final question at the end of the book. I know I'm giving it away. Spoiler alert. Okay. Are you doing this to benefit yourself at the expense of another okay. person? Okay. Yes. And that's the main question. Repeat that, that a, question for us. Are you doing this to better yourself at the expense of another person? Mm -hmm. The first part, no problem. Right. Everybody right. should benefit themselves. Yeah. You need to get ahead in life. You sure. need to put food yeah. on the table. But when you're doing it at the expense of someone else, you are just sliding into very bad territory. Right. Yes. The book is called? Situational Ethics. What would you do? How can we get it? Amazon.com on July 14th okay. or my website, rickjordan.tv. Awesome. Well, Rick, thank you so much. Thank one, you. One, one last question. Do you check your boyfriend, girlfriend's private text messages without them knowing? So it's not its not always as big as yeah. would you murder someone. Of it's, course. You know, are you just checking, taking a peek at someone? What about a glance? A little <laughs> glance might put you into some interesting I mean, it's territory. Got the big font. It's got the big font. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can see them. it from across the room. room. <laughs> I accidentally. Oh, whoops. Just like I accidentally saw your cards. Thank yes, you. thank you. Oh, thank yes. you so thank much. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.